For several years, Laura Persinger's love of the outdoors was on hold, merely becoming a shut-in. I had really become uh, almost paralyzed with anxiety. We joined her on this walk through Long Hunter State Park. How cool. There's treasures everywhere. Something she says she's only able to do after psychedelic experiences. I found joy again. I found laughter again. I found uh, my interest again. Laura says her mental health healing journey started with psilocybin, more commonly known as magic mushrooms. So how do psychedelics work? Depression or anxiety, PTSD, these all can come with negative beliefs. Author Jennifer Chesick wrote the Psilocybin Handbook for Women. She says people's negative beliefs about themselves can make their brain like a frozen pond. And using psychedelics thaws that barrier to rewrite the brain. You take that rock and in the form of a new belief, drop it in, and it, it gains entry into the water and causes a ripple effect. So if you want to just start to take some nice deep breaths. Persinger says ultimately a different psychedelic experience ended up helping her, ketamine assisted therapy. I needed to do more work on myself to get to the root of why I was having these problems. Ketamine is a legal anesthetic with psychedelic properties that has been used for several years to help veterans experiencing PTSD. We work with everybody from teenagers to older adults. Nashville therapist Robert DeSalvo says the monitor treatment, plus adding talk therapy, helps people connect what they experience while on the drug to what's impacting their mental health. I see them work through things that, that have, you know, really affected them for a lifetime. Experts in the field of psychology recognize people's desperation for help. I empathize deeply with people who are suffering. But they warn the research on illegal psychedelics isn't broad enough to prove them safe. And side effects like psychosis, a loss of reality, or worsening mental health conditions are very serious. Some people who present with depression can convert to bipolar disorder or convert to schizophrenia. As for Persinger, she says her psychedelic experiences helped her return to living a full life. I think that my mind and body needed that. It probably had been a very long time since I had actually laughed, just laughed. Tracy Cornett, WSMV4.